We just had breakfast at this place called Moose, which specializes in American and Canadian breakfasts, and it was delicious. Um, I got the avocado toast, and then we got pancakes with maple, oh, the pancakes were super fluffy, but like crispy on the outside, and they were just amazing. They like soaked up all the maple syrup. It was so good. And then we got a maple syrup to go, and some more coffee to go. So yeah, Moose Coffee in Manchester. I would definitely recommend it. And now we're off to the Peak District. Yay! Okay, so we're en route to Bakewell and Buxton. Um, I've booked this hotel called, I think it's the Palace Hotel, and I've just seen online it's part of the Britannia Hotel Group, which, I mean, they're notoriously bad, aren't they? I, I didn't realize it was part of the Britannia Group. But anyway, um, let's see how it is. I'm not gonna judge just yet. Um, so yeah, plan is to go to Buxton, um, we're gonna to go to this place called the Buxton Brewery and Ale House because everyone's told me the food there's amazing. And then we're gonna to go to Bakewell in search of a Bakewell, a proper Bakewell tart because um, we've got some Mr. Kiplings in the back. And I just wanted to know what a real Bakewell tart from Bakewell actually tastes like. I've heard that they're absolutely nothing like the ones that you get from the shops. So yeah, that's what um, the plan is today on this little road trip. It's super snowy! I love it! I don't know if you can see. It's super snowy, super misty. Makes me really excited to explore the peaks. Castleton at the moment there's so much snow outside of Castleton but the journey up was actually scary it was crazy crazy snowy you couldn't see anything in front of you that there was so much fog and so much snow I'm very excited to spend a weekend in the Peak District and um, hopefully I can give you some tips as well for when you do the same this is one of the most photographed houses in Castleton. Um, it's freezing, but I'm loving life. So this is Peak Cavern, which is one of the most impressive cave entrances in Britain. Um, we didn't know this was here, but we just happened upon it, and it is pretty impressive. Something from Jurassic Park. This place behind us has been nicknamed The Devil's Ass. Um, need to look up on Google why it's been nicknamed that because it's hilarious. Um, it's £11.25 to get in, which we were too cheap to pay, so we're going to go and look for something else. Monsel Head, Monsel Head Trail. I think it looks beautiful in the snow. So, Monsel Head Trail, that behind me, this, oh, this, used to be a railway, but now you can just walk um, for miles. No cars, no pollution, just out in the landscape. And I probably wouldn't recommend it today because it's absolutely freezing. authentic Bakewell tart. We've seen this place called the Bakewell Tart Shop, so we're gonna go in and see what they've got. So, um, I'm gonna quickly have a look. I booked somewhere, I think it was called the original Bakewell Pudding Shop. There's Bakewell Pudding Factory, Another place that we just found, which was called the traditional Bakewell Pudding Shop. 
but we're looking for the original Bakewell pudding <laughs> shop and cafe, so yeah. Bunch of sugar eggs and ground almonds. Oh, so okay. it's like a fixed almond custard. It tastes like the tart, but it's just a consistency. We're trying to find the entrance for the original bake roll pudding shop, but we can't find it. Um, we've got an original bake roll pudding from one of the little bakeries, but now we're trying to find the restaurant. I'm hoping we're going the right, no, it's the wrong way. Hopefully we find it. <laughs> Wilson's fruit cake. This is a slice of cheese randomly, but it tastes really good together. And then here, this is um, a Bakewell tart, isn't it? Bakewell tart. And then here's the Bakewell pudding, the original Bakewell pudding. For this, um, it was supposedly made by accident by a landlady in 1820, but people liked the recipe. <laughs> so it's very flaky, it's got sieve jam and almond paste on top of it, and then we got scones as well because why not? Manchester from the little trip to the Peak District and I can recommend it to anybody. If anyone's thinking of going for a weekend to the Peak District, I would say go 100%. We went to Castleton and then we went to Buxton and then we went to Bakewell and it was amazing. And then we stopped at a little coffee shop called the Grasshopper Cafe. Um, in Hope Valley which was absolutely lovely. So yeah, I just wanted to end my vlog. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram that would be fantastic. If you want to subscribe that would be great and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!